I've got a uh, at university in my constituency, and I have been contacted by the uh, student union, a number of students, uh, who, um, because of it, there's no uh, courses, it's all online, they've, they're not currently in their student accommodation, and they haven't been for a while, and they won't be for a while longer, so probably about three months, four months, potentially, they haven't been in their student accommodation, yet they're still uh, being expected to pay full, full, uh, full rent there. Uh, so and a lot of them are sort of um, fairly concerned about that. And um, I was wondering if the government had a view on that. So uh, in terms of uh, universities, halls, uh, uh, we've been very keen to uh, uh, make it absolutely clear that uh, we, we certainly hope that uh, uh, universities aren't charging students for that, uh, that accommodation. Uh, obviously, in terms of private landlords, uh, the government has set up a sort of a number of uh, uh, schemes in terms of actually supporting people that are in those private uh, agreements and we very much hope that people look at those as to how they make access, take access to them. But we've been consistently very clear with universities and people who provide halls of residences to the approach that we would like them to take. 